Hey guys, so this would be a beginner's guide for those who want to learn how to navigate the Shopify website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can come up and edit your menu in Shopify. I'm going to also teach you how you can come up with a mega menu options in Shopify. And actually, regardless of what theme you are using, is usually available regardless of what theme you are using. Now, for First, and obviously to start with, we need to log into our Shopify backend. So just simply go into the Shopify.com and then log into the corresponding Shopify store. If you have a lot of Shopify store, um, just simply click this avatar there and select the right store. Now you can access this mega menu or your menu um, under the online store and then themes and then Again, regardless of what your theme that you are using, Mega Menu, I believe, is available. Um, this Origin is actually a free version. So click on the custom button and then you need to um, go in. Usually they have a header section um, into your Shopify. And then in the area in here, under the desktop menu type, um, there is a drop down, there's a drawer as well, and mega menu. So let's say we're gonna pick drawer, and I will click. Um, so if a drawer, it will look like this. So it looks like this but like since i in most retail you know e-commerce website we usually want to have the collection name and then with this also theme i really like the origin theme by the way it's a free theme um this is not sponsored but they allow you like this um you know this um add to cart slide thing is is good to uh, this is a, actually a good CRO or cons conversion rate um, optimization for your Shopify website. So try to look at this theme. It's really promising. You don't need to pay for extra. Um, okay, so go back with the mega menu. With this theme, you have two options. You can use drop down, you can use mega menu and drawer. So we're going to be selecting mega menu in here. And I said, as I said, um, regardless of what theme you're using, Mega Menu is usually available throughout the Shopify themes. Now, um, in order for you to update your Mega Menu or your menus, um, you need to go in to your menu section or just simply go into the um, side area. So when you click the modules itself it, it will you this area these options in here usually pops up um, you can either edit it by clicking the edit option or you can replace the um, assigned menu by clicking that like replace option there so i'm going to click this one and let's say you want to add extra you know options in here so like i let's just refresh that and then uh, these are like actually my options. I have um, you know, new arrivals and all this stuff. So if you want to reformat it, you can click on edit. And how did I set up this kind of like layout is I have the parent. So I have shop all as the parent menu. And these are also parent menu made to order and about us. And inside the shop all, so there is two, three tier actually. So um, new arrivals and then women is part of the second tier. And then part of the third tier are this as seen. And then these are like the sub category. And the link itself is when you click on the edit, you have an options to either just use the, you know, um, like the, you can actually just use the link itself or use a specific collection. With this one, I want it to be a custom blue. Now there's also option here called filter collection with tags. So let's say um, your custom designs has a lot of filters. So let's go back with the products. Actually not the custom designs. How about we use, um, okay, dresses. 
So you have a collections in here called dresses. And let's say they go into collection section and go to the dresses. And in my logical condition, I have dress, off shoulder dresses, and infinity dresses. Now, let's say you want to only see the dresses, like when they click the menu, I only want to have a, a infinity dresses as a result. You can just type in that infinity dresses. So you can just type in that collection if you want to have an extra layer of your menu as a result. But I won't gonna do that, but just letting you know that there's also an option for that. Um, okay, so make sure as well that you save your menu every time you make changes. Now, um, with regards to um, accessing this menu, you can always go, so let's just save this. Not safe, so safe. Okay, you can always go to online. Let's just disregard that. You can always go to online and then navigation. And then with the navigation, let's say um, aside from main menu, maybe you want to add an extra or secondary menu in here. Um, you can add another extra menu, or you can um, also update the footer. Or other like this customer account menu is a different account um, menu when you when the customers <coughs> log into the portal as a customer now if you want to really completely edit the menu styles and the vibe of it um, that will require some sort of custom CSS and JavaScript as well so where you can access that so simply go into the custom again customize rather and then go into the edit code and then under the edit code you have an um, look into the menu so here um, let's say this is the design this is the entire um, HTML with a use of a liquid so like Liquid is really like a templating language that Shopify use similar with um, <coughs> I think I think Webflow and HubSpot also use Liquid, but it's just purely look like an HTML with uh, with a scarce bonding syntax. With a Liquid, also you can have like combine not just the HTML and CSS, but also you can do a JavaScript as well without you know having a long code into the um into the file so this is again this is the design of the mega menu now if you want to update the drop down menu in here this is the drop down menu style and um actually this design in origin is just a one a two tier menu if you want to add like let's say if we click dresses then it will pop a different you know a menu type of thing um this is not available in the default origin so it needs a customization from a developer um, i haven't really configured it because um this is very just a simple project maybe if she really want more customization then i can also come up with a more advanced menu but yeah for you to edit the menu template just go into the respective liquid template um for editing or you can also use the um like with this one as well these are like the css components um if you want to add extra design so let's say you don't want this color it's just you don't want that color i like block um there is a border block there so um let's see this one border block and it says it's located somewhere um yeah so if you want to hide that and it's actually something located oh it's located in the global settings pop-up so actually you can just um, edit that into the settings itself but usually also this code can be found into the CSS type of thing so um, so you can just you know share it there and like 
search it if it's not available there then you can look other let's say um, so it's not showing so I, I really recommend actually I don't really like editing into the cloud I prefer to download it into my IDE or Visual Studio Code um, and then just just push it off like push it when I want to um, integrate it in the website it's more easy for easier for me to edit codes versus on using the cloud but as I notice with the settings or the classes that they've used in in here it's more on like the settings like global settings pop up so you should able to edit that into the settings option of your theme but it's just like you really need to more play around where is that located um, or you can overwrite the code by having something like that border none and then save let's see if it's gonna overwrite so yeah border none um, it's already overwrite but I, I just want to keep that I think I can just keep that block okay let's just do like that and yeah, that's how you can edit your menu in Shopify. If you need help with Shopify, let me know. Comment down below. I put it in my link um, for booking a schedule um, if you need help. Thank you and have a great day.